Uh -huh. Start streaming. Okay. Three, two, one. I think that we are live now. Is that what it says up here? I it says we're live. We're live. Hello, everybody. How are you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. How are you feeling, my How love? How are you feeling? Hot, How are you hot, feeling? Hot, uh, how are you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. hot. How are you feeling? Hot, 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 hot. I don't even know this song, but you and I just started singing together. You know. don't know the song Hot, Hot, Hot? My whole entire soul on fire, feeling hot, hot, hot. hot but that was a different na, na, song. Na, 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 na. That was a different song. No, we were we were singing to a different beat, girl. We were. We just we we synchronized. Our cheese, not like our cream cheese, but our like what cheese. What kind of cheese do you like have? Is it cheese? cheddar cheese? No, I'm a Gold I'm a cheese. squacaroni. 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 Some lovely nasties left those comments to let us know what yes. indeed squacaroni was. Thank you, Italian nasties. Oh, somebody else is sick here also. Hey, all yeah. of my sickies in the house. Diarrhea. We got some <laughs> diarrhea in the house. It has not, for those of you that are new to this. A while ago, when we started doing live streams, we couldn't yeah, tell. Yeah, we couldn't tell if it was live. Uh, so we asked people to say diarrhea if they could hear us, and it's stuck ever since. The, Unlike the phrase, diarrhea, not ironically. the diarrhea. <laughs> We've got really good toilet system here. Bum spraying for the win. Mm. By the way, that week in Australia, we for those of you that don't know, we were just in Australia for a week. Which, by the way, is yes. why I'm sick. Because as anyone who has uh, got a chronic illness will tell you, mm -hmm. traveling is always like at a guaranteed way. Like, did yeah. you want to have fun while you're traveling? Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? You get sick. You, you get, get sick. sick. You, you get, get sick, sick, but not the rest of you. Just mm -hmm. the ones of you with chronic illnesses. I think we came to like a really interesting conclusion today because we were t like looking over like all of our travels because like when we were in Bali, you got dengue fever. Yeah. When we were like going to Texas, like your arm severely dislocated. Um, and... When we were on the airplane between our US tour, I threw up yeah. in the toilet. Like it was on one of our flights to Japan that you lost a hearing I in lost your my ear. Hearing. I threw up on the way to Melbourne. Right. So it's just like, I. I I think we keep on thinking oh what are we doing wrong and it's just that you are you, you aren't in the best health and traveling is very taxing and for a lot of yeah. people you're gonna say well as a result like if I'm chronically ill I don't want to travel I'm yeah. just gonna stay at home and be safe and that you're by all means free to do that choice but for us we're kind of trying to like save up our 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 what uh, our health is as you could say because like we we talk well this is getting a little bit too deep now. I'm like what are you talking about I'm so confused you know when someone's <laughs> talking but you're sick and it does that overlap you where know it's what like, I've got a little bit of a cold <laughs> as well <laughs> the I'm whole like, point what are you is talking that about? we are choosing to spend crazy. our health on on memories <laughs> that we can have instead of just staying at home mm. and give that okay mm, I'm ah. gonna it's all right. Here, have some coffee. Ah. I'm going to talk to Tiara Rara, who said, I want to read those chats, but it goes up so fast. How are you reading it? Here's what I do. I have the mouse arrow. Yeah. If you put your mouse arrow over the chats, it freezes them. Yeah. When you pull them away, uh -huh. you can press read more and it'll scroll down. So you but have then to... we'll miss a whole bunch in between. Yeah. So for you guys that are trying to read the chats, you just kind of slide over and slide back and slide over and slide back. Yeah. Yes. Go. Um, I'm going to go up to Waddle Doodly Doo, who says, huh. question. Have you ever got spicy butthole diarrhea and had your butt sprayed? Does it hurt? Let uh, me tell you, sure spicy does. butthole. Yep. Yes, but we're talking about bidets because Japan mm. and Korea have these amazing like bum spraying systems. Yes. It's way better. If you've ever had a spicy poop, uh -huh. like a cocoa curry level 10 spicy poop, right. the bum sprayer will save your life. Yes. It will save your life. If you're just using paper, you're like, I'm just gonna rub spice all yeah, over cause my Yeah, because then you're just like smearing the <laughs> acid all over yourself. You don't want that. That's crazy. <laughs> the ass. Acid. Acid. Where Anyhow, is everybody from? I'd like to know everybody from? Uh, where is everybody from. I saw somebody from... Oh, okay. Also, while people are answering that, let me uh, kind of answer the, the question about the title. Uh, yesterday, we got oh, a, yeah. uh, an email Emergency from the alert. Canadian Embassy being like, Hey, watch out. There's a big typhoon coming. So we're like, okay, we're not, not going to go. We're going to stay home. We're going to do a live stream. And now it's like sunshine and roses. Can you outside. see how white this is? It's so blaringly rooms. white here because it's the the typhoon isn't here. So mm -hmm. I didn't have time to rename it. I should have renamed it. Uh, so there's no yeah, typhoon but, happening uh, now. Oh no no. Sorry, no. blame the government. No no it's no. Canada's fault. Simon, you fool. What? When you say something like it's sunny and beautiful out, so we're doing our live stream now. What do you mm -hmm. think is gonna happen when we head outside with our gear to film? The typhoon's gonna hit. That's the way the that it works. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure it's Okinawa that's getting a. Oh boy. Oh, tell me more, my sweet boy. He was not happy about no, that. Oh, my sweet dog. All right, I'm scrolling up okay, and I'm gonna find out where from? everybody is from. Where is everybody from? 
We have I got Quebec. Roxanne from Quebec. We've got Megan from Denver, Colorado. We've Metal got... of Heaven is here. Metal of Heaven, shouldn't you be working right now? I know Otsu. you got a job. Otsu, she's not working. I know you got a uh, job, Moonlit girl. Phoenix is from California. Miami is from... Wait, Mimi, sorry. Mimi is from Florida. We've got Alexa from Australia. Caro from California. We've got Fluffy Girl Jess from Texas. Sweet Spectacles from Chicago. Girl. We've got Doa Alamadi from Saudi Arabia. We've got Saf... Wait, Safi... Wait, that's a tricky name. Safira. I thought it was Sophia, but it's Safria. Safira. From Indonesia. We've got Michigan, Poland, Ohio, Philly, Nicaragua, Nicaragua, Nicaragua. Oh my God. Let me say it again. Kiss him. Nicaragua. Really I can't say it. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Please help me. I have problems with particular words. Nicaragua. Say it for me. Say it for me, Ducky. Ni. Ni. Ka. Ka. Ra. Ra. Gua. Gua. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Ni. Kara. Ni. Kara. Gua. Gua. Two caras. Nicaragua. 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 Oh my god, this is one of those words. What was the last word I had? Were we out with Dan and Blumio and I couldn't say the word? Uh, I think it was please and thank you. <laughs> I'm joking. Martina. <laughs> yeah! ah, no nipples. Never the nipples. No. Never the nipples. Um, we got Hawaii. We got Texas. Philadelphia. France. Nebraska. South Dakota. Mm. Mexico. Arizona. Newfoundland. Hong Kong, Jacksonville, Florida, Michigan, Venezuela. Somebody's Paraguay. from Kiss the Memes. That's a great place to oh my be. God, in. I was just there. From? Awesome. Really awesome. <laughs> I can tell you were just there because you brought back so some souvenirs. I got so much fluff on my face. You get a fluff, and you, you get, get a fluff, fluff. and my you get a fluff. a fluff. Oh my gosh, did I have any? Justin Scott yelled, "Show us the spudgy." I'm gonna bring him over. Poor sweet spudgy has a pink eye. Yeah, I do. I do have some fluff uh, in go my him. coffee, but it's still yummy. See you in half an hour, girl. How's everybody doing? You know what was great? Melbourne is great. I loved Melbourne. We didn't get to talk enough about how much we liked it there. It really reminds us of Toronto in many ways. It had a really Queen Street vibe. If, for those of you, <laughs> hey, there's my ugly boy. Who's my ugly, scruggly boy? I don't feel good. I don't feel good. I'm sorry, my boy. Aww. I'm sorry, my boy. You're a little sweet puddle. I don't feel good. <laughs> Spudgy, uh, yesterday, I got a funny story for you. Spudgy yesterday was constipated, uh, and so he didn't go for his daily poos. Uh, and this morning, um, Memers went up to drink at the sink because he only drinks water from the finest, freshest Memers, if you will. running sink. So I, I put him up there, and then I went upstairs to see how Martina's doing. Uh, and then Spudgy ran into the bathroom, and then uh, after a while, like Mima started meowing, and I wondered to myself, why is he meowing? He's already drinking water. Um, get, like, did the water turn off automatically? And I came downstairs, and the water was still running, but Spudgy had covered the bathroom and just like peppered it with a whole bunch of spudgy turds all Aww. over the place. Normally Spudgy has a very solid poop. This yeah. costume has a lot of poop talk. So much poop. Anyways, normally he has a normal solid spudgy poop, but I yes. guess because he was constipated, he had little tiny like... Just pellets. And then Memers was like, meow, I can't get down. <laughs> meow, this is revolting. Meow, do you see all this? Meow, please help me. See, he was just trapped up by the sink going, <laughs> I can't leave. Cause, Poor buddy. Cause Spudgy usually has his routine of like, you bring him down, you give him breakfast, and you take him off for the walk, and, and then he does his poo. And today I just took him down. You know why? Because didn't even feed him yet, and he's just like, all right. When you go to a club and they have that song at the beginning, you know the one that goes like, it's gonna hurt my voice, I can't do it. And they go. Somebody, somebody said our audio is still popping. What we're gonna do for the next one is that we're not gonna use this box anymore. Next time we're actually gonna bring our computer down and we're gonna stream through our computer, which mm. shouldn't um, be an issue anymore. With the popping sounds. With the, with the hopter popter chops. Yeah, exactly. Uh, we got some super chatters here. Hello mm. to Noemi Cisneros, who says, yay, I finally catch you live. Or finally I catch you live, love you both. Oh, Aren't Noemi. you glad you picked us Don't live you when know I'm Noemi. sick? Oh, uh, you know what this is right here? No. Yesterday when we were filming our video, uh, some guy was like eating at an izakaya and he had his phone open because he was live streaming on Instagram. Mm -hmm. uh, but he had like, he was on one half of the screen and the other, he just tried to show the ambience. So I started doing the running man. In the background. And stirring the pot. Go white boy. It's, it's your birthday. birthday. And then the party like, like it's your birthday. You know, on all your birthdays, you've yet to do the running man. Yes, because you're not supposed to do your running man on the birthday. Of course are you? you are. 
You're supposed to be running man every day of the year. I see how this is. I see how this is. Tokyo Sam. Oh, Tokyo Sam. It's been a while since we saw you. Good morning, guys. Great new video of donuts. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you mm -hmm. liked it. I really enjoyed shooting that video. The, the, uh, the Melbourne one. Oh, the Melbourne one. Yeah. I will say, though, I've been responding to some of the comments. Um, the donut time place that we went to, people were saying, would you go back again for $8? You know, I wouldn't. Yeah. It wasn't... It's, it wasn't a bad donut. No. It just wasn't the greatest donut. Like, it was a I good would, donut. It yeah. was a good donut. Don't even. I would go back again for it because if we didn't like the donuts at all, we wouldn't have included it because yeah. we cut things from our video. Sure. Like, we went to places that we were like, I'm not putting this on camera. Right. Um, but for the donut video that we did in Japan, like our Daikayama one where Simon lost nonstop, every one of those donuts he didn't try and will never try since the company closed down were incredible donuts. You that know, I, I can like. just fly to Portland and just get them there. Can you? I can. I'm sure it'll totally be worth the cost of it. The flight, uh, renting the, a car. The, the payoff matrix there doesn't a really hotel, seem to be uh, a, a And great then idea. buying a $6 donut. But Who said hotel is just going to be living out of a car? Uh, out of your donut car. <laughs> <filled> <laughs> the donut 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 mobile. Mobile. I, I, my steering wheel is actually just another donut. <laughs> donut. And then I eat it halfway, and then I lose control of the car, and then I get into a fiery crash. But don't worry, you've Except got donut it's all cream-filled, <laughs> so if you crash, you're just in liquid. What was that? Was there, what, there was that movie in the future in which when, he, down it, when you get into a car accident, him. you get filled with foam. Just Remember that? With him. What movie was that? No, for real. Some of you have seen that movie in which like they don't have airbags, you get into a crash, and the whole car instantly fills with foam. It's either Minority Report or Demolition Man. Oh, Demolition Man, I recently just thought of lately about the eyeball scene where yeah. he took the guy's eyeball out and I was a kid when I saw it and I was mm -hmm. like, that's crazy! Uh -huh. Somebody, please Anywho. tell me mm -hmm. what movie that was from. Angel View says, notice me! Hello, Angel View. Uh, Mrs. in a Box said, honestly, $8 a premium donut is reasonable considering mm -hmm. standard jam donuts can be up to $3 each. $3? I remember when it used to be 50 cents! <laughs> well, like $8 for a premium donut, you know, it, I guess it could make sense to me. It still doesn't because the mm -hmm. amount of money that goes into the dope versus the filling is different than if you're getting like a slice of cake, right. which I think requires more eggs and more content. Uh -huh. Each to their own. I personally would have gone back for Each those vegan sandwiches. Like to someone who says it's worth it to buy uh, okay, a... Okay, okay. Well, I'm like, I think $8 for a slice of cake. I don't sure. like cake either. Right, but right. I mean, $8 for a slice of cake that requires like cooling. Then you got to cut it. Then you got to mm. take the layers off. Mm. You got to mm. make icing sugar or buttercream. You got to do that. Then you got to decorate. Like I think it takes more work than a donut, mm -hmm. which you can make in a machine where they mix it. Demolition like... Man. Yep. Someone said Demolition Man, Demolition oh. Man. I was right. Demolition Man. You was right. I told you I'm not crazy. So the whole point is that after I eat my steering wheel, that's a donut, oh, right. I speak Back of it to in not cream, and it'll be like Demolition Man. See, I'm not crazy. And then the door will open up, and you'll <laughs> spill out, and everyone will be like, that man's covered in cream. And, and instead, then of the car, <laughs> instead of the car exploding the fire, it just explodes into sprinkles. Or <laughs> tinier donuts, like tinier, Timbits. Yes, little Timbits. We need to write a story. We I would like someone story. to animate our stories so that we can I like how stories. I like how in every single video, every single video, in which I'm eating, everyone's like, Simon is so freaking high. I'm not. It's coffee, and it's just an excitement for life. Mm -hmm. I'm it's really been 10 weird. years of us making I'm videos. I'm really weird excited right reaction. now. I didn't just wake up and smoke. It's so illegal here. I just like coffee, and I'm really excitable. I'm high on life. I'm high on life. Woo! And I'm just tired. Um, <laughs> let's I'm just, I'm I'm just tired. tired. Red Ren says, yes. hello, it's 9 p.m. in Denver. Uh -huh. Gotta get up at 3 a.m. Gross. Can't believe I caught this. Hope you guys get better. Question, are you ever going to do something in Okinawa? We almost did. We, we almost are, did. No, guys, 100%. Mm -hmm. Like, one of the things we discussed before is that when we first moved to Korea, mm -hmm. um, we were still getting to know Korea. We didn't know anything about it. Like, we didn't know anything about living in Asia, mm -hmm. and we were still teachers at the time. Mm -hmm. And then we started to grow our YouTube channel, right? And then we were able to do it full time. Our move to Japan yeah. has been a completely different experience sure. because we're arriving here as YouTubers. Right. So our, our excitement is like, let's go visit different parts of Japan. For which sure. It took us much longer to do that in Korea because mm. we didn't have a car and we didn't know how to get anywhere. Right, right. But now that we're in Japan and the Shinkansen's connect to like every single tiny little place, we can definitely get to places a lot faster. Mm. That's what I think. We wanted to go to Okinawa, but going to Okinawa in, in the, the summer, summer is a terrible terrible idea so we're gonna wait for it to cool down a bit and then we're gonna enjoy some of the heat there yes good well, question red Ren. can i just red. say like i like some people didn't like the weather in melbourne because it got four seasons in a day but mm -hmm. coming back to japan's heat it's like 27 degrees today in september 15th yeah. yesterday it was like plus 30 it's still too hot here 
Too that me, I was cold yesterday. I got the black lung, I got the black lung. For the first time in my life, and guys, let me know if you feel this way. For the first time in my Damn life, girl. I got on a subway cart and I felt like it was too cold. And I was like, wish I packed a cardigan or uh -huh. a sweater. I have never felt like the subway trains in Japan were ever too cold. Uh -huh. Are you the kind of person who thinks that the air conditioning is too strong? Because that has never been me, uh -huh. ever. And yesterday I was like, well, it's also because you've lost a lot of weight. I, I think have. you've lost something like 13 pounds. I have indeed. Uh, since coming back from Canada. And you're like, you don't have, you're my, em my embracing body fat, fat to, to cover you and smother you. And, I'm going to die in the winter time. I'm going to yeah. have to design some yeah. hats. That's yeah. the only way around it. Um, mm -hmm. I've been losing weight because I'm trying to get the pressure off my knees and my ankles and my mm -hmm. hips because yeah. for those of you who don't know I recently um, I have an uh, SI joint problem. I dislocated right. like my inner hips. Yes um, On a weight machine. It's sacroiliac. Gym. Sacroiliac. Uh -huh. Did not do that very well um, So I'm trying to get rid of the weight because uh -huh. it is excruciating uh -huh. um, And so I have I like to how casually you put that like, I need to get rid of the weight because it's just excruciating Yeah, uh, I don't know what to do with my life. <laughs> so I just really need to get rid I'm of it. at a level six out of ten pain right now, but you'll mm -hmm. never know um, let's answer some other questions here from yes. Awkward T. Awkward T! Hey, Sai Martina. It took me a second to get back in the live stream, but aside from that, I can't wait for this December because you're coming to Japan. It's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. I will make Coco Curry my first stop after I get settled in. That's exactly what we That's did what as we well. Did. As soon as we settled into our service department, we went right to Coco Curry uh, with Dan and uh, Alan. <gasps> Mute your phone. I muted my phone. That was my phone. I thought I turned off all notifications on my phone. That one was like, uh, the storm is coming. Like, yes. <laughs> and you're like, be quiet, Canadian embassy. Um, and and our, our, our manager, Alan, who also never had Coca Curry before. And we were so. like, we were appalled. Mm -hmm. We were shocked and appalled. Speaking of turning off notifications, I have been going through this kind of like Zen movement with my phone, uh, in which I'm trying my best to use my phone a lot less than usual. I've turned off all notifications. I don't need notifications. I don't need sounds. As soon as somebody messages me, I don't have to jump and answer right away. Like back in my day, people used to leave messages it is on answering machines but now when somebody leaves a message you have to answer them instantly and i don't like that feeling yeah. anymore so i'm trying to mute all my messages welcome to my world yes. i've always been the person who gets nine voice messages from her friends that right. are mad being like hey call me back and the next one's like hey you didn't call me back uh -huh. the next one's like call me back and then the next one's like Sorry for getting mad about that, Martina, but if you could call me back, uh -huh. then I'm like, I'll be doing it on my own time, thank you. I'll tell you another interesting thing. That Wait. Just, okay, go. Vivian Huang says, what have you been doing to lose your weight? Oh, it's, <laughs> it's so, so easy. easy. <laughs> it's like, it's a brand new thing. It's just <laughs> called, are you ready? <laughs> you just don't eat. You just don't eat. No, that's not it. Uh -huh. um, what I'm doing is I went to the um, hospital and I had a, what is it called when you find out your... It's called the human dog test. So it's No, this... not that one. Just the one where you find out what your burning calorie rate is of the day. Oh, it's your TDEE, your total, total resting... daily energy right. expenditure. So basically every single person has a different amount of energy they spend throughout the day. So right. if I don't do anything, if uh -huh. I stay in bed all day or I lie on the couch all day, uh -huh. the, my just my brain uh -huh. and my body functions will burn a minimum right. of 1,300 calories. Yeah. Every person is different. So that's why when you see somebody who eats like eight hamburgers and they don't seem to gain weight mm. and you're like, this is so unfair. Their TDE is It different. is just unfair. So We're my TDE is actually 2,300. I'm yeah. a big boy. Yeah. So I could eat a lot more. But people could be Simon size yeah. and have a different one. Sure. It could be lower. So that means that in the day... Because I have so much huge muscles no. all over my body, all these muscles need a lot more calories mm -hmm. in order to survive. The muscles. The muscles. Mus muscles do burn, burn more energy though. Yes. That's why they say going to the gym. It's uh, not about going to the gym. It's about making more muscles because muscles burn more energy. But right. anyhow, I digress. The point is, is that if I eat 1300 or under, yeah. not like under like 200 calories. I'm yeah. talking like not malnutrition. Yeah. If I eat under that, if you then eat, I'm if you eat like 100 to 200 calories below under, your TDE, yeah. you're guaranteed to lose weight. You're guaranteed to lose weight. However, you have to, you cannot mm. give yourself malnutrition. If you yeah. just don't eat, your body will panic and pack on the fat. In That's why people, ways, people you think lose that. Bone density, you yeah, just, you don't want to yeah, do that. I don't, don't want to do that. So what I do is I'm eating um, very low calorie and low fat meals. So for uh -huh. example, I do vegetable stir fry. Uh -huh. So I don't use rice or noodles. I do tofu that I press and then uh -huh. I fry the tofu up with olive oil. Uh -huh. And then I do broccoli, cabbage, carrots, bean sprouts, bok uh -huh. choy. Um, and I toss it all with a little bit of cooking sake and soy mm -hmm. sauce, measuring it all to make sure I'm not like going over sugary limit mm -hmm. and then tons of hot sauce and that's it. And then I put tofu on top. So I eat that 
And then when I eat that, it feels quite full because of all the fiber, but mm. that's very, very low calorie. Yeah. Um, so if I have that, let's say like two or three times a day, I can eat that as much as I want and yeah. I'm staying very low <clears throat> calorie while still getting nutrition. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've been trying to do. So when we film our videos, yeah. I have to be careful. Like if we're going to eat ramen on camera, that might be 600 calories. Right. Um, then I have to make sure th the beginning of the day I'm balancing that out. And right. I have a program that I'm using, which you guys might like. It's called Spelt. Spelt. Looks like this. It looks like this. Spelt. Mm -hmm. um, if you can see it, it's a little tiny green thing here. And what you do is you just add in, like you say, I had one cup of soy milk today with uh, unsweetened whey protein, and then it'll tell you how many calories you have. So you have an idea of what you're eating. Mm -hmm. Do I do that every single day? No, there are some no. days where I go out for my friend's birthday and I enjoy birthday sure. cake with them. Yeah. Because you're not supposed to lose more than a pound of weight. A pound or two per week. Per as week. soon as you start going over that, then it starts getting to unhealthy, unhealthy weight yeah. loss. So I understand it's going to be slow weight loss, yeah. but it's going to be healthy weight loss. And and I remember at first, like you were really frustrated because like you would like diet one day and the next day you get yeah. on the scale and you're like, why am I not losing weight? And you're like, it's a, it's a marathon. It's yeah. not a sprint. Like even for me, like I've been working out for a while. I'm still really weak compared to like where I want to be, but like I'm really slowly progressing and slowly developing and soon I'll be able to hit like the strength goals that I want, but I know that mm -hmm. I can't rush it. I can't hurt myself yeah. in the process. I got to take it slow and steady. Yeah. How about uh, you answer some super chats and I'm going to start bringing over some family. I will do that. I will say thank you to Christian there, but... Brillante for, for super chatting. And Lama Ochan says, if you were to create a new mascot Sanrio character, <laughs> what would it look like and what would you name it? Uh, I think it would look like Memers, and I would name it Memers. That's my answer. If you had to name a new Sanrio character, it would look like this. Please no. Please not again. This is how he would look. No, See? I think I'd make a Sanrio character called the Sushi Squad, uh -huh. and I'd make a whole bunch of different sushi pieces that are like a spudgy sushi and a hey, memer sushi, spushi, a spushi, spushi, and a Martina sushi and a Simon sushi. What kind of sushi would you want to be, Ducky? Um, Otoro? I want to, no, 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 not Otoro. I want to be, uh, what was that really last, that, that good one we had last time at Saito? The Aji? The Aji. Please put me down. Aji. Please put me back. But my... you're so soft and fat. Please put me down. You're so soft, my sweet fat boy. Please put me down. Mm -hmm. Okay, down you go. There we go. Okay, first one. What do you got here? All right. Mm. <gasps> this is from Carl. Oh, 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 oh. You want to take oh, this? You got oh, it. Oh, is this bag what I think it is? Holy shit snacks. Ducky, do you see this bag? Oh my God. Carl sent us the Blue Jay shirts. Oh. Carl sent us these amazing Blue Jay shirts that were in English and Japanese. Mm. And we totally, totally love them. So he said he decided to send us some more stuff. He said last time it was mostly a Simon package. So he's trying to make this mostly a Martina package. Um, we'll see. Oh, we'll see. Anyway, and then he's like, don't get food poisoning like last year. Okay. So much food poisoning. Starsky is very important to us because whenever we go back to Canada, uh, there's a Starsky somewhat close to Martina's house. It's a Polish uh, run grocery store. Yes. And we always go there and we go to their hot plate station where they have a whole bunch of different pierogies, um, potato and cheddar, potato and cottage cheese. They got like oniony ones and it's just so... I want you to read the message he wrote on the back of it. Here's some spicy cook for you. Why have regular cook when you can have spicy cook? <laughs> Would you like some spicy cook? Carl, you're the best. <clears throat> Thank you. There's something in here as well. Oh my gosh. No, these are like Polish soups. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, oh good on to Kubek. This is amazing One timing cup. for my sickness, Good on to Kubek. Yes, this is perfect for Ducky. Beets. You beets. can have beet soup. Beets. This is not beets by Vegetable Dre. This soup. is... Pol no, this is... I never saw this package before. Polish style red borscht. This is really special to me. Thank you. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like we went to a Russian restaurant recently because we have a Russian restaurant in the neighborhood and we got, we, I got the borscht there and it's just a lot sweeter than the borscht my, my parents used to make. This might be your nightmare. What is it? You know how you don't like Swiss chalet dipping sauce, but I love it. Yeah. These are Swiss chalet dipping sauce chips. Oh. He said they smell really good, but don't taste that great. For science, Simon. Mm. These you expired guys, three days ago, but you, you know what? You guys have Swiss anyways. chalet back in your country because Swiss chalet, always so good for so little. Um, it's a roasted chicken place and they have like this special dipping sauce that I love and I used up all my Swiss chalet sauce last Christmas. Yep, I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it. Oh, so it must taste good. It I actually, tastes... I can't stomach eating this right now. I just smelt food and I felt immediately ill. <laughs> immediately queasy. Thank you for the sentiment. I will, I, hate... I will have these. I know I this is a Martina package. Later. So Martina, Martina will enjoy this. Just right I... now I'm a bit too no. sick to try it. 
<clears throat> but I will absolutely Ooh. have some of this later. Sarah Neftis says, yay live chat. Hey, so what do you guys think about the whole missile threat in Japan right now? Scary. What is this? We'll f answer that question first. Okay, so. Yeah, so we didn't even know there was a missile threat. We woke up and everyone messaged us and was like, oh my god, be safe. Take shelter. I'm like, what happened? Um, I mean, North Korea is definitely ramping up its threats more than usual, sure. but I guess we've been dealing with these threats for 10 years now. Uh -huh. I'm kind of like, we know the po politics behind it, which is that he can't actually, if he actually accidentally hits a country, right. then they will bomb him. Yes. And that means he's done his reign as King Supreme. Like He if wants you're, to rule the country. Yeah, he's living there off of like great food, lots of prostitutes, all the money that he wants. Yeah, he's off living the like expense king. of people. Sure. I'm not, I'm not condoning it, but like from his perspective, he knows every single scenario yeah. that he goes in the war, he will lose power. There is no way he will yeah. survive a war. None whatsoever. No. Even if he, he will flees, cause a lot of damage. If he flees the country, like mm -hmm. if he starts a war and then he flees North Korea, uh -huh. he will be hunted down. Yeah. That will be the end of his luxury life. Who would want to give that life up unless he has like a pang of conscience and he wants to actually be right. decent, then he wouldn't start a war to do that. So yeah. these are just like little like things that he like does to show his population that they're still powerful and they're still to be yeah. intimidated and to be respected plus he does that because when people start cutting off the um uh -huh. when they stop dealing with like for example they sell things to other countries and other countries buy it they start start cutting that off mm -hmm. and when they cut that off then he's ticked off because yeah. he's not making any money to live his luxury sure. life anymore so anyways let's hope that that's all it comes to because mm -hmm. i theorize that if anything ever accidentally nicks japan or another yeah. country that it would be an accident that yeah. it would be like a trajectory failure yeah and then he better get on the spaceship and fly out and the just country you, because that you, be there'll the be no it. safe place for you no. on earth so no. i i'm not worried about like the, the way that we've spoken with other people about yeah. it as well people like much better know yeah. than we are yeah oh the indie kitten had a good one indie oh, kitten hey. says watch john oliver's bit on it and oh. he covers it pretty well we'll look it up i haven't seen that one yes i like john oliver what are you gonna say about these Girl Scout cookies from Canada. Oh! The last time we had Girl Scout cookies. Girl, I never bought Girl, Girl Scout Guides cookies. Girl of Canada. This is really exciting. Ooh. I'm going to be sharing these with my friends that like biscuits as well, but I'm going to wait until I feel a little bit better. Okay, no, these are definitely for me. This is like Buffalo Ranch. Martine doesn't even like ranch, so I'm going to have this right now. Remember when we were talking about dieting and I'm going to have chips right now? I had a really healthy breakfast. I had rice with quinoa and eggplant and lotus fruit and pumpkin and pickles. What else uh, my breakfast? One each for Simon and Martina, one each for Dan. Uh, hey. You never saw anything. You never saw anything. You know what we just learned yesterday? 100% pure maple syrup. You know what we just learned yesterday? Dan doesn't watch any of our videos. What a jerk. He hasn't seen any videos we're since, with, we're watching you, since Dan. our Saito video. So he's not even gonna see that this was for him because he doesn't watch our videos. That's right, Dan, you poop head. You don't even know that we're calling you, know what? you poop Dan head. You smell, and you don't even know that. Head. No, to be fair, I think a lot of people keep thinking that um, we work with Dan like every single day because uh -huh. they're like, Dan did a great job editing this video. And I'm like, I edited the video. Yeah. Because we're working with a company now, mm -hmm. Dan has other things that he has to do at work. Yeah, he right? shot a music video with someone else. Yeah, Blumio and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah and Blumio, working with Rude TV. Yeah, yeah. So, like, you know, Breaker has many people that they work with. Mm -hmm. So, when we need help and we say, hey, Dan, can we, we need like an extra person to hold the camera? Uh -huh. Can you come film with us? Mm -hmm. He's like, for sure, let me come out yeah. and film with you guys. Yeah. So, we get along really, really well. Sure. But he has his own own things to do right and then we have our own things that we do so it's mm -hmm. not the same as before in the eat your kimchi studio where like we hired people to work to exclusively work for, us. for us right so that's not how it works this time uh -huh. around um but we will be going on an adventure next week with dan and some of the breaker team members mm -hmm. um to film some stuff outside of tokyo uh i actually just remember now somebody asked a question Ooh, i didn't know they make those Somebody asked a question uh, a while ago because we mentioned human dog tests and we just like pass it over as, as if like people knew what we were talking about Human dog test is just like a really, really extensive physical test in which you're at the hospital for eight hours mm -hmm. and they test everything. Like they take your blood, they like heart, the heart eyes, they actually hearing, make you breathe into to things to see like your capacity. So yeah. it's just really, really thorough test. I'm gonna try one of these ketchup chips. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Carl, thank you very much for this package. This I'm sorry cool I couldn't eat everything on camera, but I will when I'm feeling better. Um, and he also included some Mr. Noodle chicken flavor. Mm. It's like Martina's favorite. Mm. I actually do like Mr. Noodle, despite it being its childhood memories of like eating in high school. So going back to North Korea, Sarah, I hope that answers your question. Yes. 
Um, let's get some, we're falling behind here a bit on we questions. Uh, so Telatham92 says, when Awkward visits, can you can he bring you a present from me? I want to send blue bonnet seeds. Ooh. This is Texas State flower. I actually think that might be illegal. Are because... you trying to get him arrested? <laughs> is that what you're trying to say? I don't think- A you... pound of heroin you're gonna give him yeah. as well? <laughs> I think that if you try to bring um, certain seeds across, it's considered like, it could cause a huge problem for the Japanese, like, infrastructure of like Australia like you can't biodiversity yeah. like there are really strict biodiversity yeah. laws mm -hmm. so maybe like a fake blue bonnet like uh -huh. a flake flower would work I think yes that's about it uh -huh. mm -hmm. Q is to me uh super chatted so so thank you for that you didn't mm -hmm. leave a message but mm -hmm. still thank you Olivia Pop says hey guys I'm from VA Vermont I, I, I think it's Vermont. The eight Vermont. Uh, I'm so glad I caught y'all live again. I'm listening to y'all while doing grad work and getting attacked by my five week old kitten, Moo Moo. His name is Moo Moo. You named your kitten Moo Moo. That's a great name. Moo Moo. And she's also ignoring her snoring 13 year old dog, Maddie. Um, when Memers was a kitten, oh my God. he infuriated me um, mm -hmm. by attacking us all the time, right. mostly wanting to drink the ear nipple from my ear yeah, yeah. because when we adopted him he was very small and like should not have left his mom but they oh, were trying to get rid of their boy. kittens i'm looking at you fat he's boy. like Wah. he's like lying on the couch like this he's like, Wah. Wah. like what's that you want me to bring memers back up again yes you no you do. should just put the camera and let people see how cute he looks but i can't move this whole thing we'll okay, just I have destroy a theory. the ring here's what we're gonna do I'm gonna open up Instagram and you're gonna do an Instagram video and say, hey people in the live stream right now, live stream inception, here's what Memers looks like. Okay, for those of you, open up your Instagram right now, you'll okay. be able to see what Memers is doing. Okay, so you explain it to everybody too. Okay. <laughs> so this is what Memers is doing. I should push the button first, I believe. Well, I just oh. zoomed in. Let me try that again. Simon doesn't know how the technologies work. Yeah, you know what? You can... You want me to help no. you? <laughs> For those of you that are watching our live stream right now, this is what memers are doing off on the side. We live can't stream the camera. inception. Live stream inception. Bring it back so everyone can see the setup here. Hello. Live stream live inception. Live stream inception. I don't know. Oh, there's us on TV. That's weird. Next, your, your story, story send. send. Good job, Simon. I'm good at the internet. You did a new technology thing. I do this also. It just it was confusing in the context of doing it as He's we're doing live. Never posted a video on Instagram before. What are you talking about? I posted so. Remember when we were at the baseball game? I posted the noodles. How dare you? Kitten dare B you? says, yeah. "How long have you been live? I am really late. Uh, we've uh, been live for about hour. half an hour. Yeah, now. half an hour. We half started at twelve. So. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. Not that late. Um, uh, Rem, right? Remuchan. Yes. Remuchan says. Do you think of Japan, Japan as home? I hope you feel better, Martina. I also suffer from chronic pain on a daily basis and you're an inspiration as I'm in my crumpled up hoodie. Mm -hmm. My cat says hi to memers. Me meow, 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 um, I'm not sure we think of Japan as home yet. It's still, I want to think of it as home. Yeah, there was a point in Korea where it's shifted and we were like, Korea is home. Uh -huh. You know, when we left Korea, it was like leaving home. Yeah. I remember going to Canada and coming back and being like, we're home. Uh -huh. Now that we've moved to Japan, it was like moving to a new place. It was almost like, that's why even with our video comparing Korea and Japan, huh. it was like fluffs in the air. So many fluffs. When we did our video comparing about our experiences of Korea and Japan, right. what's funny about it is that it felt to me like, I'm criticizing Canada versus Japan. Yeah. Like, because it felt like I've lived there for so long, I've paid taxes, we've paid people, we, yeah. all of our income, everything went into Korea. Right. So it was kind of like being like, oh, Canada uh -huh. and their wonky healthcare. Uh -huh. I forgot that we look white and are not Korean. And so people are like, you can't say that. Right. I felt very frustrated because to me, it's like, we really lived in Korea. Yeah. Like, you know, we weren't so, tourists there, you know, like no. we contributed to the economy. Yes. You know? um, and so moving in Japan now, to me, I still feel like this is quite new and fresh. Yeah. I'm, I feel like it's home-ish because yeah. of my home, uh -huh. but I think it'll take a couple more years. And everyone in the comments also made things like, well, for a couple of years, you complain about Japan. I'm like, sure. Sure. Like, I mean, everyone yeah. will get to know the country they're in and right. then you'll have different complaints. And so I'm excited to see how we're going to grow from when we first arrived in Japan to how mm -hmm. we'll be in the future and to look back and say, yeah, you know what? I don't like this about Japan anymore no. or this kind of bugs me yeah. but we still have to live here and make it our home I mm. think before you can really have serious complaints I'm still very excited to be in Japan me like too. when we came back from Australia like I felt like ah, I'm back in Japan but mm -hmm. in many ways Japan seems like uh, this is gonna sound a little bit romanticized it seems like a bit too good for me to live <laughs> yeah, we're like this seems very because I, I feel like there this is an uh, ideal society in very many ways like mm -hmm. at least from our situation like our lifestyle that we're living right now like we meet so many nice people like everyone's quiet and respectful and mm -hmm. observant and they just like 
act as a good functional society. Like yeah. yesterday we were shooting a video and these two strangers like started talking to us like in English and we shared wine with them. They and it was just pizza, like, they shared it was us. just so, so lovely. And I looked yeah. at it like, no, this is too good for me. There's yeah. gotta be some catcher. There's gotta be like, this has to be the matrix and there's gotta be some aliens because like yeah. this is just a bit too idyllic for me. But I will say that I think it is also to do with our age because yes. I think if we, we've met people who came here when they were younger and uh -huh. they thought that Japan was too stiff. Yes. They're like, there's too many rules. For sure. It's you have to be quiet. And I was like, I totally get that. Like that probably would have bugged us if we first came here, uh -huh. but we first went to, to Korea, the yeah. land of like, do what you want. Right. And so that was very easy for us to get to, to get to know, mm -hmm. you know? So I think that now that we're getting older, we're like, we're enjoying the fact that our neighborhood gets quiet and we're enjoying the fact that like, there's no yelling on the streets and mm. like, we're enjoying the like ch changes of, you know, being with our age as well. People are asking if I just twirled my stash. It's a it's a bizarre habit that yeah. I have. I, I once my I when we came to Japan, I trimmed my beard down a lot, but now I'm letting it grow back out again. And I just find myself just caressing my face. Oh boy! I keep telling time. him, I'm like, please stop you caressing know, yourself. Nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now you ruined the direction of it. No, I can put it back down. Simon Martina, greetings mm. from a fan. Oh, mm. my voice is going. Oh boy. I've been wanting to send you a gift for a long time, and so I've enclosed a t-shirt Simon might appreciate. Oh. And some little decorations for your collection, Martina. Ooh. Thank you for your both for your videos. They cheer me up and distract you from the pain of my rheumatoid arthritis. Uh. Yeah. You're both wonderful and I wish you much happiness. Love. Wait, I have to spell it. Spell it for me. Athlin. 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 I've never met an Athlin before. Thank you, Athlon. It's a really nice message. Uh, here's an interesting thing that you should know. Did you know that Taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat? Oh my cat? god, that just blew my mind. Taco I had to cat. actually read Taco it backwards. Cat. Taco Cat. Wonderful, wonderful Taco Cat. This is an amazing... There's a cat and a taco. <laughs> Don't you know it's Taco Cat. Hello. Here, Here comes, comes the Taco, taco Cat. cat. Mimers, do you want to be Taco Cat? No, please. Please, please, please no. stop bothering me. I just grew myself from your grease. Ugh. <sighs> Are you my little taco cat? Look at how his stomach hangs. Why don't you just put him? Because I just want to show the the dangling stomach. Don't you shame me? Look at look at that little dangling stomach. Come here, my sweet boy. Oh my Is that god. A box. I mm. love boxes. Are you gonna go inside the box, fat boy? I don't. I don't think you'll. Fit. I don't think you'll fit, if fatty. We're being very real with ourselves. I, I like how I always fat it. shame memers, even though I would never do that to a person. I it know. just it's just so fun because he's so tortly. My little tortly soft boy. Hey, I already said one of us in the family should be able to get fat. Yes. Wanna smell that? Those are What's birdies. That? What's that smell, boy? Oh. Huh? This is a little... Hey, a little for wild. those of you that are tuning in and have no idea what our channel is, this is quality entertainment that we do. We're professional cat trainers. Yes, we open um, up packages and then we make our cats smell them. Yes, so our full-time job is as a mm. cat trainer. Yes. Um, Mimer speaks three different languages and he can run, jump, sleep, um, and he can also do a little bit of ballet. It's our full-time job. Um, and if you look up our Open the Happy channel, you'll see various things like memers on a skateboard. And that's our full-time job. Welcome to our channel. It's a tiny bird feeder. And it actually opens. I'm scared to open this any further. Guys, look. Wait, this no. This is from memes. This isn't a bird feeder at all. Is this an outhouse? Oh my gosh, there's so much fluff. Guys, do you think this can go outside? I'm scared that this might not... This is okay because it's ceramic, but I'm worried that those, this wood might get seriously rotten from the rain. By the way, how cute was it that my cat just grew my beard on live camera? I have to look that it up. That was pretty cute, wasn't For it? For indoor use only. No. That's fine. This will stay inside, but this one can go outside. That's still an amazing shirt. Thank you so much for the Taco Cat shirt. You're going to see the Taco Cat shirt appearing in many videos. Yes. Thank you for this Thank wonderful you so much. package. And I'll be putting this... In in my indoor gardens. Uh, I'm gonna say thank you to Not Heiser for super chatting who says, love you both. Thank you for eight plus years of incredible content. I've learned so much from both of you. Thank you for sticking with us for thank so you. long. Do you guys think that we're turning into a accidental reality TV show? I, I, think, I it's, think we yeah. might be the Truman Show, but we don't realize it. You know, it was interesting because when we were at the Creator Summit, like one of the things that we were discussing uh, with like other YouTubers is longevity. Like we've been doing this for a really long time. Some people are still pretty new at this. And the question is, how can you go on for so long without feeling burnout, without wanting a change? And like for us, we're still very motivated and very happy to do this. But some people, you know, after a while, they, they lose their passion. So I'm, 
I'm really lucky to be able to speak with so many awesome people mm -hmm. in, in the comments mm -hmm. in these live streams. You mm -hmm. really keep us motivated to but keep doing this. I'll tell you, that's the big thing. Yeah. Is that we were really shocked to meet so many other YouTubers that don't interact with their community. They don't uh -huh. even have a community. They have people that watch their videos and comments, but they don't comment back. And yeah. I was like, what? Like yeah. people like you guys are taking the time on your free time to sure. tune into our videos or to watch our live stream and to leave us a comment. It's amazing. I mean, I mean there's like, so many good things on world. TV that you could be watching, like Game of Thrones and whatnot, and you're watching my cat lick my face. Like, thank you for making that thank decision you. to watch yes. us. I don't know. Maybe don't because know. we started YouTube when there wasn't money in it. And uh -huh. so maybe we didn't realize, like, now I think people go into YouTube thinking of it like a career job. Yeah. And so maybe they're like, oh, I, I need this to grow. And yeah. it becomes like an anxiety. They're doing like, I need money. I want to do this yeah. for money. So that's why I'm doing it. For us, we did this for two years without making a penny because yeah. we love doing it. And yeah. we'll do it even like years from now when yeah. nobody watches us and we make no money. We won't care because making videos is yeah. fun. Soon it'll turn into Martina live streams herself cooking. I'll be like, now we're going to add some marshmallow fluff. Mm -hmm. Three people are in the chat group. My mom, my dad, <laughs> and spammer. Derp Kitty gave a good answer. They said, already caught up on Game of Thrones. So bam. I guess there's nothing else. Well, then it's there's just, nothing, that's nothing it. else. Just, We'll hold you over until season eight comes. We got this. Don't Come worry. Join us. Um, I want to thank you to the water mix for super chatting as well. You haven't mm -hmm. left a message, but thank you. And to oh, the there's the water mix. Oh, there you go below. I uh, said goodbye to my husband for two weeks as he goes to visit his home country. We've never been apart that long. Thanks for being here to cheer me up. Whoa. When Martina was gone, I think you were gone for like one week. Yeah, my mom's emergency surgery. Three mom's emergency yeah. surgery. I could not. Could not handle that. I got messages Could from my friends not. in Korea that were like, Whoa. Simon's like wandering the streets. We're oh trying to cheer him gosh. up. Simon's no, no, this food. was in Japan. But also in Korea when oh, Ryan yeah. was there to take care of you. Right. But like in Japan also, I just like, let me just watch the most depressing TV shows I can. I watched The Leftovers, which is a great show, by the way. Yeah, except I came home and <laughs> Simon's beard is out to here and he's just eating ice cream and he's like, where were you? Yeah. Which is not true because he visited me at the airport with a sign. He did. I'm waiting for you, Ducky. I'm waiting for you so much. I love getting signs at airports. Oh my god. We had an amazing nasty meet us at the airport in Melbourne <gasps> uh, with yes. a sign. I kept the sign in my hotel room the entire time. Yes. And then folded up into my luggage. And, and she crumbled. also gave us big lamingtons. Really like really big, good like, lamingtons big that she made. They were really good. They were really nice. We didn't share them. Uh, people like the <laughs> idea of live stream cooking. Oh, that reminds me because we're talking about live stream cooking. Mm. One of the things that we're like thinking about doing on this channel, because uh, I really like doing live stuff, there are some like restaurants that we just like can't mm -hmm. like bring our camera gear into and like shoot a full video. Yeah. I was thinking about like doing yeah. like maybe like live mukbangs there for like you know going to like a cool ramen yeah. shop and eating there. It won't be like a full hour because you can't eat ramen for an hour because yeah. that'll be disgusting. Um, but like so we, because <laughs> after six minutes the the noodles, the noodles start bloating. Yeah. But for example, like if we go for a shabu shabu for lunch, right? We've already made a shabu shabu video, but it's a different location. Sure. What if we took you guys with us and we you know, shabu shabu it and we're like, this is the vegetables I'm using and here's the broth and we uh -huh. like take you over to the vegetable stand. Uh -huh. I thought it could be fun. We may not be able to interact with the comments as much yes. because we're going to want to eat our food. Right. Um, but we'll definitely try. But mm -hmm. maybe you guys can have a little peek into like an everyday Japan right. life. And also like I was thinking about doing it in a 360 so that if Martina sits on one side and I sit on the other side, you could feel like we're all sitting at the table together because 360 is super cool and I really want to do it. And I'm talking really fast. Slow down I'm... your speech, young sir. Thank you to the Rumble Pack for super chatting, who says, super happy to catch you guys live stream. My wife and I are going to Japan in November to relax and eat tons Ooh. of food. Would we be able to come and say hi? I wish I could give a concrete answer yeah, on that, but know. like I, our schedule like usually gets like super packed within like three weeks. So mm -hmm. like right now, like the rest of our September is pretty much booked. Yep. Uh, we're trying to book October right now. So I don't know what we're going to mm -hmm. have to do. And we have a friend coming down to visit. Right. Yeah, Ellen's coming. Yeah, and Ellen's then we coming. also have mm -hmm. uh, another friend visiting us and mm -hmm. we just have like a crazy schedule. So it's always right. just send once you're here, yeah. you know, you send us a tweet or you send us a message. Like people will say, Hey, I'm heading into Kichi Joji. You guys going to be around? And then yeah. we might be like, yeah, and sometimes we stop by if we can, but like our yeah. time isn't really our own. A lot of the times. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I'm sorry I can't give you a, a clearer answer for that, but like it's always bizarre for us. But you could come to our meetup on October. Oh, no, you're going to be here in November, not in October. Hands up if you're coming to our meetup in October. A cookie time. Smudgy so mirrors are like, time. we're staying at home. Who got the cookie time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, what was it? Oh, what? I saw a thing that I comment. I added like a little, but then it went past. Where'd it go? Never mind. Is it gone? Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Olivia Pop says VA is Virginia, not Vermont. Ah, mm -hmm. and Mumu is a girl that we rescued two to three weeks. She's finally asleep, but my mom's cat Genius is angrily staring at me. You have one cat named Genius and another cat named Mumu. That sounds like a cartoon waiting to happen. Genius and Mumu. It's like Pinky and the Brain. Mumu is the nice one, Genius yeah. is the smart one, and they mm -hmm. like devise different ways to like right. bother you, but Mumu, oh, no, but your cat, your dog Maddie, always has to interrupt them to keep uh, them from ruining it. Genius doesn't actually have like a, a compassion side to them, and like they're just so smart, but like yeah. Mumu has to keep on showing, hey, you gotta incorporate some empathy into your life, because mm -hmm. Mumu is a sweet kitty. Got a, a good comment from Colleen A, who said, it makes mm -hmm. me laugh when you guys say things like, our videos were so bad, thanks for staying with us, but you guys forget that we've all grown too. No one likes themselves from five years ago. Mm. That's a good point. Like when we look back at our videos from the beginning, I'm like so embarrassed at oh. how boring or like uh. awkward. But it's true. We've. That's why whenever you see comments sometimes like from people on one of our videos that are like, your guys' videos have changed. I'm like, I hope so. I hope so. Imagine if yeah. I was still doing the same videos yeah. from 10 years ago. Because you'd get bored of it and you'd mm. stop watching. Like we, we want to keep oh, changing. No. We want to keep trying new oh, things. Oh no, no, I don't, I don't just mean that people yeah. would get bored of it. I mean, I hope I'm different from 10 years ago, Martina. Sure. I'm saying I hope that when I was 10 years ago yeah. and I liked something, that I'm not stuck in some kind of like, mm. these are the things that I like. Right. We've changed so much since experiencing of Korea, course. since going through the whole K-pop world, like all these different things have happened. Mm -hmm. Imagine if we were still like exactly the same as we were 10 years ago. Yeah. I mean, I hope people grow and change. We've actually seen that with some YouTubers who talk about being like in mm. high school and college. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, you've been out of school. Like when they started their videos, they were in high school. Uh -huh. But when they finished their videos now, they're like in, they're like an adult. Yeah. And they're like talking about like studying for high school exams. I'm like, dude, you, uh -huh. you're not in high school. You know, that, that reminds me. Yeah. Right? YouTube, Way out of high school. When we were in Australia last week, we were there for YouTube Creator Summit, which mm -hmm. is where they bring the top 100 creators of the Asia Pacific region mm -hmm. and they get them together and they talk about stuff. And we met a girl there uh, who I, I don't want to name just in case she's uncomfortable with it, but she said that she created her YouTube channel to leave comments on our videos and we inspired her to make videos and now she's huge. She's way bigger than she's us. Huge. She's done an amazing she's job. She's so amazing and so impressive and I can't believe that like we were a part of her growth. That's profoundly inspiring to me. That's one mm -hmm. of the most rewarding things I've ever heard from mm -hmm. somebody. And we see a lot of people that are saying that they're starting on YouTube and I'm like, that's uh -huh. fantastic. Uh -huh. Go for it. Yeah, keep going for you it. Know? Yeah. Um, I want to scroll down this way. I'm getting the sweats. I'm getting like, getting the, the sweats? like I was cold before and now I'm like, so you should take off your hoodie. Here. I can't. I'm wearing pajamas. Oh, you're wearing pajamas? You're not wearing you're not, you're not, I'm wearing like, fan mail pajamas. <laughs> right. That's, 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 that's the pajamas that somebody sent us a while ago. Uh, I'm yeah. wearing fan mail pajamas <laughs> and no bra. And I have big girls, so I can't go braless. <laughs> it's, it's amazing because like if somebody like rings the doorbell, Martina's like, you have to answer the door. And I'm like, why? And she's like, well, I'm not wearing a bra. I'm like, you're wearing two sweaters. Nobody's gonna see anything. And she's like, but what if they jiggle a bit? I don't, I don't want anyone to see that. My prudy duty wife. My mom raised us to be very prudish. You, you'll notice in our in our videos, Martina never shows cleavage. Like never, ever, ever, never. And you know, I'm not, I'm not pressuring you to do so. A lot of people do go that route. But I'm just amazed that like you mm -hmm. have these tremendous assets and you don't, <laughs> <laughs> you don't capitalize Listen. on them. Are we be in the 10 million subscriber yeah, range but, right now? But would we have quality viewers? <laughs> right. True. No. True. We have. Uh, People that Listen. like us for our personalities That's right. and not for our gigantic breasts. I'm just saying, I know that a <laughs> yes. lot of you know that right. I have big girls. Yes. And you're like, mm. those are some nice big girls. Yes. And I also like Martina's sense of humor. Yes. But if I wore a low cut shirt, I, mean, I could be discussing the most important shit in life. Yeah. And people would be like, show me your So, no, I can't. Go. Thank you. I we do we this. have we have a code of ethics that we won't compromise for more money and more. You can views. enjoy them. Thank you. Other people can Thank see you. them with clothing I like and all, <laughs> all, all the claps that are going on here. See? I also like how like a lot of our view, viewers just ah oh, no titties I'm leaving the chat. <laughs> <laughs> if you've joined us today for thinking of titties, you must leave. Um, but you can do your little uh, peck dance. Ready? Go. There you go. Okay. I, I don't have enough muscles. Mad Alpha like, Alpha I don't even says, know. It's myself in the eye. <sighs> Mad Alpha Alpha. But for real, I'm going to go put a bra on and come back because I'm okay, so go, overheated. Go, go put on a bra. Let, let me handle the chat here. 
Woo, girl, take it off, take it all off. Let me get the Instagram live going on here. <laughs> Uh, Matt Alfalfa says, hi guys, I've been a fan of you guys since 2012. I want you to send you guys a package, but I'm not sure what. Are there any states things you like that I could send? Food, candy, etc. VA is Virginia, by the way. I'm sorry I got Virginia wrong. I, I you know, I, I don't know. Uh, like we actually have a friend visiting uh, from the states and we're gonna see him, not this Saturday, but next Saturday. And he's like, hey, what do you need from the states? I honestly don't know. Cheap televisions? Because like the TVs here are so expensive. Um, no, don't send a TV, please, whatever you do. Um, but I, I, I really don't know. I think we're good. We get most of the stuff that we need here. Uh, I've got deodorant, I've got face cream, all the stuff that we used to suffer not having in Korea. We're pretty solid here. So really, if you want to send us anything, just send us a letter. Simon ate Cinnamon Toast Crunch in Canada. Stop, no, don't tell them that. Addiction. Don't tell them that. Okay, he don't tell them that. Once. Don't tell them that, that's my secret. I don't want, I don't, okay. Look, when I was in Canada, I had cinnamon toast crunch and I forgot how magically delicious it was and I ate it every day and then I came back here a fat boy and I don't want to do that again. I'm glad that cinnamon toast crunch is not available here because that is my weakness. I remember a while ago when we started doing these uh, package openings, uh, I mentioned how much I like Reese peanut butter cups and I got far too many Reese peanut butter cups and ate much too many of them. I'm trying to be a little bit healthy now as you heard from my breakfast of quinoa and pumpkin and eggplant. Let's not go the, the cinnamon toast crunch. Um, so Cloverful says, uh, there were titties. How do you do that? What the, this thing right here, where I, where I, where I, where I shake them. I, I just did a lot of pushups when I was younger. Now I can control a lot of my muscles. I could do the same thing with my caps as well, but I'm wearing short shorts. So I don't really want to like accidentally show something else in the process because I'm a prude as well. Okay. I don't want to show my assets on camera. <laughs> That's a different story. I couldn't find my right bra. All I had downstairs was a You just have back. your left boob no, in there this is and a, the right one's just out. Correct. Not right as in when choke, order and choke. Oh, as the, in, the correct. This is a racer back bra. So Speaking of prudishness, my uh -huh. mom also raised me that I should not show my bra straps. Mm -hmm. So if I have a tank top that's a racer mm -hmm. back, I have to wear a racer back bra so that you don't see my straps. But I couldn't get up the stairs to get a proper bra. Oh girl, let me go get you. No, it's a then. proper bra. It's okay. just that now you see my bra straps in an ironic twist of... Forget it. It's okay. It's fine. This is enough bra talk for one day. If you're just joining us now and you're wondering why I look so awful, it's mm -hmm. because I'm sick. Like you don't look awful, you're a wonderful beacon of love and happiness and you inspire me to be a better person every day. Thanks, Pancha. Give me some sugar right there. Thank you very much. This package is from Sabine and Justin from Great Britain. Well, check the letter first because sometimes oh, yeah. they're not... Got it. Got it. Oh, oh! great pictures! That's that, amazing! That was the whole spoilers that I just saw right there. Hey guys, we need your help. Will you please help us come up with an awesome roller derby name for my husband? We both joined our local derby teams back in May and cannot come up with a good name for him. I'm thinking Maple Maven for myself. What's a good roller der derby name? Oh my god, roller derby is amazing. Um, I don't know, but like all, all I know is that whenever our friends get pregnant, I always urge them to name their kid Fight Master because I think nobody will mess with you in school. Bullying is a big issue, and no matter what school you're in, if your kid is named Fight Master, nobody's gonna mm -hmm. mess with them. So maybe you so can... these guys are Swiss Canadian. Oh. So they live in the UK, <clears throat> but they're Swiss Canadian, and so that can help us with a roller derby name. Okay, okay guys, so we've got Swiss Canadian people. Uh -huh. Something with chocolate. Why would we call the them maple like chocolate cheese. rain? The maple cheese. Maple cheese. Um, uh, the maple... Or how about something involving the word sorry? Because you know how Canadians like sorry not sorry? Because in the roller derby you like knock people over. So you're like sorry not sorry wait, knocks the, over number 34. Wait, wait, wait. The, 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 the Swiss make good watches, right? Yes. So we could say watch out. I'm sorry. Oh, watch. you tried though. Uh, I saw. Trying. I felt the vibes. Look, you I were say. Going with I it. say, fight master or is ironically cool. I say, sorry, not sorry, sorry all not one sorry. word. So it says, sorry, not sorry, sorry not taking sorry. out third fight master. A uh, medal of heaven asks, how do meetups even work? Before we get into this, oh, okay. Uh, which is which is an interesting question. Mm -hmm. um, so pretty much is just like us gonna be there, and it's our chance to like mm -hmm. talk to people. Okay, that... well, hold on a second, okay. Captain Captain Excitement. Sure. Um, Cookie Time is an open shop, so if you, for example, don't want to wait in line to say hello to us, you can just come and get cookies. Right. It's like, that's why we're so excited about this event, because uh -huh. normally we do an event where it's just us. So uh -huh. you literally just have to come and like boringly stand, uh -huh. stand in line waiting to talk to us, right? Uh -huh. 
But here, you can show up, you can be like, oh my god, Simon Martina, uh, hey guys, you can wave to us, buy cookies, have a milkshake, chill out, meet some new nasties that are there, make some new friends, and then if you want to, you can come over to us mm -hmm. in the corner, say hi, give us a hug, chat a bit, let's take some pictures. We're going to mm -hmm. be selling um, stickers and towels that are yeah. special edition cookie merch. Mm -hmm. I worked on a new cookie design. Yes. Um, yeah, and that's about it. And so you can just come over to say hi, or mm -hmm. you can chill out with other people, but it's like an open restaurant concept, right? Maple Mountain Man was a good oh, name somebody kidding. suggested. The Maple Mountain. Oh, Bridget Paul. As you can see, Simon was listening to me deeply. Yes. I thought he was gonna say something really deep, and then he went Maple, Maple Mountain. Mountain. I really Man. want to find a good name for him. With the, mm, on the, the Maple back. Alps. The sorry Alps. You'll wake up at 4 a.m. and scream something out. Don't worry, we'll put it Maple, like, Maple Alps. Alps. Okay, let's open up this package here. Oh, it comes with a pretty picture. Oh Ooh, yeah, boy. I know what this you is. Know. Oh, I thought this was something else. This is the this? hills of our live thing. The hills are alive. These are my favorite biscuits ever. I hope you like them. No music. pressure. These are the Lackerly House Bassler Original. These are your favorite biscuits. biscuits ever. Okay, people that are from the UK and Australia and New Zealand, explain this to me. Okay. There's biscuits and there's cookies, and they're different. Please explain to me the difference between a biscuit and a cookie. Go. Go. One, two, three, go. I'm going to try go. these because these are supposedly your favorites ever. Um, these unique... just look like grandma cookies Sorry, to me. Unquiet Plains said, have they talked about what to do when they're alerted about a missile strike? We have already talked about that and we were not alerted about it because we live in Tokyo and where they're shooting the missiles are much higher up. So unfortunately, oh. other parts of Japan are getting like missile sirens and having to duck and cover in case the, the missile drops. Oh. But it's actually not coming towards Tokyo, so we're not getting the alerts at least. These are actually... Mm -hmm. And Cloverfall18 says, anyone know what typhoon they were talking about? There was a typhoon alert sent to us from the Canadian Embassy. I mm -hmm. think it's hitting Okinawa and it could be making its way down. But sometimes typhoons are like, no, I don't want to go there anymore. Mm. And they just like drift off. And it's sunny and beautiful here. So I have no idea if we're going to get hit with a typhoon or not. These are actually really good. This is like a really moist, dense gingerbread. Oh my God. I haven't had anything like this before. It's like a flatbread. I'm having... A flashback. Do you? Why did you have anything like this? We had this. You can hear Norway. biscuits are hard and cookies are soft, but these are soft. Somebody said biscuits are hard, cookies are soft. These aren't biscuits. These are these are really soft, moist, dense cookies. Whoa, Simon, what did you do to this bag? I willed it open. This okay? is supposed to be a rolling down bag. You know what? Through the power of love, I opened it they up. They look like they're hard, but I think it's more of a gingerbread, but it's a soft, fresh mm. gingerbread. These are amazing. Considering how sick I feel, you know when you have like an urge for things like gingerbread, okay. like ginger stuff? Oh, wow. This excites me because you said that this is like a Swiss version of seasoning salt and you put this on everything. We love spices and herbs. That's something we're really excited about. We have a pantry and we collect a whole bunch of spices and herbs and we do a lot of cooking at home because mm -hmm. we're trying to be healthier. Mm -hmm. So a new kind of like yeah. spice and seasoning we can spice put on it. Spice and seasoning and coffee beans mm -hmm. are always exciting to get. We've already gone through our coffee bean stash that you guys sent us. Um, it's so exciting to be able to be like, oh, when we have friends boy. over, you know, I'll be like, this is coffee from Chicago. That's something that Dan actually gets a lot of us because when he's visiting at our house and we're like, this is coffee from this place. Um, so we, we can share the coffee from I cool. feel like Turkish delight. I like Turkish, like delight. Turkish delight. Those are your favorite. I'm not a Turkish delight uh, connoisseur. But if I open this up, the whole package will get dry. Yes, yeah, so you can't so open, I it can't up open now. them now because I won't be able to eat them. Hold, hold on, let me. These are some really interesting chocolates we have here. We have the Bretzeli Britchets. We have the Framboise and Cranberry. And the Framboise. And the Vanille Bourbon. Oh, yeah. These all look like great chocolates. Magic hey, Lotus. This is a quality package yeah. here, right here. Quality. Boy. Quality package, oh, right these here. These are those little tiny. Um, okay, guys, question. Is that a biscuit or a cookie? I'm not sure. Those are those big ones that are really, really thin. It's like an Italian cookie. Is that a biscuit or a cookie? Um, what I was going to say was Magic Lotus said it's a typhoon like a hurricane yes uh but it's water based so it's coming over the water well what are hurricanes sand based no hurricanes i'm pretty sure actually are considered to be land touching wind i'm pretty sure a hurricane is on land but a typhoon forms from the water and so a typhoon mm. is a water hurricane and then it hits land and it's a if it actually stays on land it's a hurricane but mm. i don't think that they ever do that i think hurricanes form in the air and then you have a hurricane. A typhoon is water. Hmm. 
Somebody let me know about this. We have these things right here, the Appenzeller Barley Bieber. <laughs> I have no idea what it's it is. Justin Bieber's uh, I'm new gonna, song. I'm gonna have a bite of this yeah, because this looks so fascinating. Oh my god. I... This looks like compressed fruit. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. Oh my god. You gosh. know that we just got chocolate sent to us from Switzerland. Swiss, Swiss chocolate. Swiss chocolate. Oh no. Okay. Is it not good? It's so good. Well, You're gonna love this. Simon's reaction. You're gonna, oh my god, this is like the bestest. You know what it is? Has it got marzipan? Marzipan! Mm. Europe and your marzipan. <laughs> Europe really loves their marzipan. Both of us are half European and we suffer marzipan our entire childhood. Hey, you know, some people like licorice and you know, some people are not insane. <laughs> <laughs> Massive unsubscribers from Norway. <laughs> sorry, that was a joke. All of Finland unsubscribes to our channel. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, if you want to hear something crazy, we have been Ooh. eating so much black licorice from Norway and Finland that I am actually starting to develop a taste for it. So you are actually going insane as well because I be. still have standards in my life and I still prefer things that taste yummy. It's so this is, a, this is actually a Swiss card game and we're going to learn how to play a Swiss card mm -hmm. game. We have the rules here about how to play it. Catherine said, who do you give all this food to? Uh, friends? Friends, so yes. So when we have anybody over, it's like I'm very old fashioned in that way where if someone comes to visit, I believe in having like tea mm. or coffee or biscuits or cookies, something ready for them. We host some we bomb host, ass parties. We son. do. It's funny because for Halloween and Christmas time, you'll never see any pictures up from us, but that's mm. because we're hosting the party uh. and I don't have time to like put up photos. Um, you can snap some of our- Hugh Garona, oh, no. no, his finish is unsubscribing. Hugh Garona, stay, no. He likes licorice, I swear. Hugh Garona, your, I totally your like poisonous licorice. black licorice of disgustingness is, is great. Please stay. There you go. The only difference between a hurricane and a cyclone and a typhoon is the location from where the storm, storm occurs. Uh. Right? Hurricane can be formed in the water as well, but is that when it becomes a typhoon? Hmm. Do you guys prefer dark or light roast coffee beans? Always light because there's more caffeine in it. Yeah. Hurricanes and typhoons are the same. It's just a difference of which ocean it's formed in. This is mm. very confusing. Someone said hurricanes start in the ocean and then come on land. Sometimes they don't even make landfall. This is really weird. I don't understand the nomenclature here. I thought that hurricanes <laughs> are only on dry land and uh, like water spouts and typhoons are. And tsunami is what you're thinking of is when it's the gigantic wave like from an mm. earthquake causes the huge wave which causes mass amounts of damage. That is not a typhoon or a hurricane. We're kind of falling behind on super Let's chats do some here. Super chats. Dynamic Duel says, I remember that video where Simon cried when he came Aww. back. It was so sweet. You're awesome and a great husband. Simon, thank you for making us feel like family and dear friends, Martina and Simon. We love you. We think of you guys like our cousins and our family as well because mm -hmm. we talk to you guys so often and we'll yeah. hear you be like, I just graduated from high school. I just finished university. I just proposed to my girlfriend and we're like, we talk to you a lot more than we talk to like some of our other friends, like, <laughs> like the, the people that we actually meet in person. Like I think I've, I've spoken with Awkward more than I've spoken with like some people that, whose weddings I went to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Yeah. laughs> um, Rem Chan says, differently, dif dif definitely, definitely different, different in awesome, in awesome ways. ways. Thank uh, you very much. Carla Glux says, Martina, hope you feel better. And Simon, just uh, of course, why did you shave your head? It looks good, just curious. I love you both so much. Well, you see, my long hair and I, uh, we were kind of having a, a bad relationship in which I really wanted my hair to stay mm -hmm. with me, but my hair was like, no, I need to go out over here. I need to go out over there. And I really couldn't get my hair to commit uh, and be in the relationship with me that I wanted. So I decided do, it was time do, to do, just do, cut do, it do, off do, um, do, and just embrace do, 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 uh, the bald and stop with the struggle button. Because it was a struggle bun that I had going on. Uh, it's over now. Our relationship is through. No looking back. I'm moving forward with my life. I'm a new man. My hair, I don't know what's happening to you. You're somewhere. But I hope you have a happy life. The end. That's when you gotta be like, and give me my money back. You have like the whole like, give me back my records. Uh, Carla Gluck uh, left another message that said, Simon, would you do a video? Oh, sorry, Martina, would you do a video about... Sometimes How did I misread that? that we want to see. How would you answer this one? Martina, would you do a video about Japanese fashion? I think it would be interesting since there's so many styles. Uh -huh. I agree, but I am on the scale of sweet and bitter. Uh -huh. I would be probably closer to here mm -hmm. because I'm too large to fit any of the amazing clothing. Yes. Um, also, surprisingly, most people in Japan dress very basically 
it's only like certain clusters of different regions where people mm. are like very, very um, colorful or very, very crazy. Like when you see like the Harajuku style, mm. it doesn't extend out into like the normal world. It's right. not like Kichijoji has people walking around in like goth or like we see that same guy. Yeah. Yeah. There's this one guy in our neighborhood who wears a top hat and a cape. Every mm. time I walk past him, I'm like, because mm, it looks so good. Um, but there's much more of like a, as we call it, a vacation look. Yes. Everyone in Japan looks like they are permanently about to go on vacation. Like in khaki like pants. linens and light pastels. Scarves, yes. Uh, straw hats. Yeah. And in the winter time, like pom-pom like, hats with like thick I feel like and... everybody here owns like a beach house in the Hamptons. Yeah. Like, they just look like they're ready to very go on vacation. Very preppy, very preppy look that happens <clears throat> here. Um, <clears throat> but I, I do want to be able to explore more. I have a friend that's going to come visit and maybe she's into fashion. <clears throat> we will do something fashion related. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Amy Brown, Martina, big titty girls have to stick together. Do you? Yeah. Okay. We do. When we see each other, we're like, ah, and our boobs get stuck, and then you we just don't start know. rubbing your boobs together. It's what that's, happens? That's how this works. Yeah. No, uh, big titty girls. I think I saw. No, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> Wait a second. Wait a second. That was the title of a mm. cookbook. Yes. Um, <laughs> the big problem is that mm -hmm. when you have big old titties. You have many things. Like, what's the boobs what we learned about recently? Ah, uh, humidity. Humidity. In which when it's really hot, you get sweat underneath yes, right here. Yes, sometimes I'll have actual shirts. marks where yes. I'm like, that is from my boobs touching my body. Mm -hmm. And you get back pain and like you can't jog, it hurts. Mm -hmm. There's so many struggles. Uh, Sally says, hey, Sam Martina, love you. L love from way back in Ottawa. My reading comprehension right now is a bit bomb. <laughs> Uh, what are your top five dishes from any place you've ever been? You could only pick one per place. Wow, that's tough. That's too many to answer. Oh my gosh. What's our what's our favorite in... Um, 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 that's let me just try hard. to think of I'm going to start places. with Korea. Woo, okay. easy. Yeah. Okay, number one, mul uh -huh. If you can get a good cold noodle dish in Korea, like a really good place, uh -huh. it's fantastic. But it's hard to find because some people will overwater the broth, not mm. cool the noodles enough, and the meat will be chewy. But mul then I'm gonna say um, in Japan for me it's Tenzushi. Uh, we filmed a video there. <laughs> you're picking a total place. Oh. Yeah, sure. It's the, this guy sushi. Like we did a sushi Saito, but we're, like we are filming like we filmed with the other sushi master. There are like two big sushi masters in Japan. Uh, this other guy is his sushi is just other otherworldly. It's something else. Sushi Saito is still phenomenal. I believe they said top five dishes, not top five locations. My dish is uh, Tenzushi sushi. That doesn't count. That's like me saying Swiss Chalet's chicken. Of course it does. That's a fair no. thing to say. Oh, which piece of sushi? Forget it. This question is too complicated. Um, I oh, I had it stopped here for a oh, reason. Oh, did you? I'm sorry. No, that's what I wanted you to read out loud from Linda. Tiggle Bitties. Remember the Anderson Pock song. That's right. I, I really if you guys don't know Anderson Pock, he's amazing. Open your heart. Why am I singing? Is this a song? Idea. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, finish the line. Let me see them Tiggle Bitties. Open your heart. What you got behind them tiggle bitties? Memers is actually adjusting because he's so uncomfortable with your singing. Well, I can't sing with my voice gone. Ivana says, my boyfriend and I bound... Oh, you covered it up. Sorry. My boyfriend and I bound to your videos when you were long distance. We now live in the same state and are learning Japanese to travel there soon. Thank you. Awesome. I, I hope you have a, a wonderful time here when you travel. Japan's great, by the way. Love it here. Totally come to visit. Come here to live. Mm -hmm. Come here to do everything. Promised land right here. You can't do everything here. Of course you can. No. What can you not do here? Anything in Colorado. Ah, uh, the things that are popular in Colorado yeah, no, are not, not acceptable here. Somebody don't be said, noisy. Uh -uh. Oh, oh here good we go. answer. Hurricanes are Atlantic, typhoons are Pacific. That, that is, is the, that clearest, the real answer? clearest answer right there. Right there. I think that makes sense. All right. I'm going to say happy 28th birthday coming up to Kayla. Oh, Kayla. Mackleprang. Mackleprang. That's an amazing last uh -huh. name. That is an amazing last name. I hope that's your real last name. Uh, do you want to know if you could get a shout out? Yes, again, happy birthday. Even from other nasties, other nasties in here. Please wish Kayla a happy birthday. Um, Piru yes. or Piro said, is there any plus size clothing available in Japan? I know Japan doesn't have a very large population of thick girls, but they exist. They have to order online. Yep. I order everything online. I don't buy a single <laughs> thing here. Everything I buy is online. When I go to Uniqlo, yes. that is the best. Like Uniqlo, H&M, Forever 21 That's are the kind chance. of places that will have sizes. But 
for some reason they're mm. not even the right sizes like Simon will have to buy like a large or extra large H&M shirt which right. you never wore large extra large no. in Canada like if, and this is the problem like I we've been living here for so long when I go back to Canada and yeah. they say what size are you I, I say I honestly don't know because yeah. I don't know what the sizes are in America so I have to like Amer like North America yeah. that is. Um, Uniqlo is really good for things like jeggings because uh -huh. I can't get jeans that fit my waist to butt to hip ratio. Mm -hmm. So like something might fit my waist, but then it absolutely will not make it up past my thighs. Like yeah. I'll try to pull on the pant leg. Uh -huh. Please tell me if you've ever had this problem. <laughs> You're like pulling it on and then it gets to here and the jeans will not go further. So like the waist might have fit you, but th they just won't. Yeah. Um, so I buy a lot of stuff on Mod Cloth. I buy a lot of stuff on Etsy, like from vintage shops. I buy a lot of stuff on, I'm trying to think of what else black milk clothing maybe, but they have weird stuff sometimes. But mm -hmm. anyways, for shoes, like, I just basically have to find any place that can ship um, mm -hmm. overseas without charging a huge amount for international shipping. Mm -hmm. um, and that's about it. I have an interesting question I want to answer from Michael Ma, who says, what do you guys think of the iPhone X? This is the first iPhone that I'm actually skipping. Uh, I don't mm -hmm. really find it. We're going to get the iPhone 8 instead because I like the idea of wireless charging and of quick charging as well. It does better slow-mo footage, uh, video footage for... Um, <gasps> Amazon delivery. Amazon delivery. Go, Ducky. Well, I'm answering this question. No, I don't have go. enough clothing on. I'm of not going. Of course you do. I'm not going. Okay. Well, you keep answering the iPhone question then. Okay. Yo, hi. So he knows we're coming. Okay. Hi. Hi. Scary. I almost had to go outside with a little bra on. I can't go to dorm pajamas. That's terrible. We ordered um, an Amazon pantry package, which always to me sounds like panties. But it's um, not pantry, actually. That's a total lie. You order from local farms. And so you can get a package with like, you don't know what they're going to send you. But it basically will have like maybe eggplant, lettuce, some kind of special like local herb. It'll have like potatoes. This one came with eggs. So I'm quite excited about that. There's our bug spray. Oh, you got another package. Our bug spray because we're... You got a big box for our bug, our bug spray. spray. This is special edition bug spray. That's why it was so So back hard. to the iPhone X. Once you finish with the iPhone X, I gotta go because my voice is going down. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't really th like the face recognition. Totally neat. Don't need it. Uh, when it comes to upgrading like the cameras and, and the pictures on there, it's neat, but we shoot like better pictures on a DSLR and we always like bring out our decent cameras with us. I barely ever take pictures with my iPhone because I want to take good pictures on like a better camera. Mm -hmm. So no matter how good the iPhone gets, it'll never beat a DSLR. So I never really buy iPhones for their cameras unless we use it for like, if it improves video quality a bit, mm -hmm. like the slow-mo, that's when we get it. But I will skip the iPhone X. Yeah. That's my answer. Um, I wanted to answer this before we head out. Mm. Megan Solo said, yes, because I think she's commenting to someone else. Where do the term nasties come from? Oh. Right, because we've been calling people nasties for so long and then if you weren't there when it started, Way back in the day, um, Hyanna, yeah. who's a K-pop singer, came out with a song called Bubble Pop. Yeah. yeah. And in the song, she was it was the first time for like a girl to really be, mm -hmm. I think, like comfortably sexual on camera in yeah, K-pop. Yeah. Like, for example, like Rihanna, Rihanna and like Beyonce, like they can do like, you know, like and everyone's sure. like, whatever, it's North America. But in K-pop, it was very, very strange. Mm -hmm. And so Simon did this like jokey thing, like, girl, he's so nasty. Cause she did Ooh, he's so nasty. Because the dance she did was like this a uh, boob pushing dance. Yeah. And we, oh, ooh, girl, you're so, so nasty. nasty. And so the uh. nasty joke kind of started. And then we kind of stuck on the phrase, well, we're all nasties as well, because mm. I think a lot of you guys are quite open-minded. Right. We can joke about things with each other and not be offended. Sure. Uh -huh. um, not in the K-pop world, but like uh -huh. most of us can understand our jokes. Right. We are like, we're talking about... Uh, what's it called? Big old titties. Like right. we can have these kind of conversations about things with each other. So, but it kind of feels now that we've been away for K-pop for so long. A lot of our new viewers are like, "Why are you calling us nasty? And are like, we nice?" And I feel bad. I feel like we kind of need to change the name, or yeah. at least have a disclaimer every time because I don't want to be like, "Hey, thank you for watching my video. You're nasty." And I hate you. Like, it just, it just sounds weird. It's a positive nasty. It's a positive nasty, but I, I just, a lot of people don't know about it. So, yeah, there, you, there go. you go. It's like an em embracing the nastiness. Also, it was really great because a lot of the K pop fan clubs, we always joke about the name of the um, uh -huh. fan groups because it's always like best friends, best friends, or friendship, everlasting friends. I'm like, you've been friend zoned by all of these K pop groups. And so and the nasty. You never date them, ever. Yeah. <laughs> ever, ever, never. You won't never, even touch ever. them. You barely even be able to smell them. All right? You're like, hey, I'm a really big fan. And then you put your hand back and you're like, you're my everlasting friend, okay? Okay, stop. Stop at. Um, so right. we thought nasty was funny because it sounds like a K-pop fan club would never do anything like uh -huh. um, outrageous, like yeah. to call someone nasty. Yeah, yeah. It has to always be like angels and so sweet, pom poms, and like they can't just be like 
<laughs> yeah, you can't just say something good. So, so. there you go. So they, this is back from our K-pop days. Did you answer any super chats when I was gone? Yeah, we won't change the name at all of heaven. Do not worry. Okay. Nasty for life. Uh-huh. Uh, did you do Jake's Tornado? I did not. So let's answer these two. So and then we can head Hurricane out. in Atlantic and Northeast Pacific, Typhoon in Northwest Death. Pacific, Cyclone in South Pacific and the Indian Ocean. They're talking about storm surges. So they're all storm surges, but just differently placed geographically. I trust your answer because your name is Jake's Tornado. And so I think you know a thing. I think you might know. I actually had a nightmare about tornadoes last night. I know you did. I all like once a month or so, I have a nightmare that I'm back in my house in Pickering, and I look at my backyard and I see a gigantic tornado coming, and mm -hmm. then like I have to like pick up like like I picked up Spudge yesterday and I ran out the front door, and then when I look back, the tornado is gone. I'm like, this is another one of my tornado dreams, isn't it? And I think that like what happens is that like the tie the tornado always hits my house and like destroys my house, and it's a metaphor for me worrying about what's going to happen to my family. Uh, so it's a, it's a symbol for that. So I, whenever I, I, I feel... Why wasn't I being carried away? You're like, see ya, Martina. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like on my cane. Like, wait for me. Because Spudgy, like, Spudgy, Spudgy can barely walk. You can and walk. And this is memers. Quack. Her tornado hits the house and he ends up in Wizard of Oz. No, I think you had that dream because you got a tornado alert last night. <laughs> there you go. Because I wrote about that. <laughs> that makes sense also. There you go. That also makes right. sense. Right. Also makes um, sense. One last thing from um, Nicholas. He said, yeah. you should try out Arnold's Donuts and Kichijoji. We passed by it. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. It's a finished chain. Finished chain, not finished. It's a finished chain that opened in 2013. Test the strawberry or licorice glaze. What did you just say to me? Licorice glaze? <laughs> Do you hate me? Is that what you're trying to say? You You hate me. Licorice glaze? I'll try it. You know what? I'll try it. It sounds interesting. Why not? Spudgy versus Memers, who would you save in a natural disaster? Well, we'd have to take Spudgy because he would factually not survive. No, he won't. Like, Memers has a fighting Memers chance. Memers would get out there and, like, yeah, find him fine. covered in water. And Spudgy is, is Memers, like, guaranteed Spudgy's today. Dead. Yeah. Yes. But anyways, we also have a backpack plan for our animals. We have a plan. We have backpacks that are only made mm. for our animals. They're not mm. actual animal backpacks. It yeah. was like we kept them so that if there's an emergency, we literally just place our animals into the backpacks. Uh -huh. And we're like, run! We, so we, we've, we've thought of this before. We've got an escape plan to save our okay, animals. Okay, so we've gone 15 minutes over what we were expecting to do for our lives. Yes. And I think it's time for us to say goodbye now. So thank you, everybody, for hanging out. I really want to stay longer, out. guys, but I'm really like... <clears> Martina, Martina's not doing all 12, yeah. so you're going to have a little nap because you're already wearing your jammies. I am. I'm going to tuck you take in. Off that going to put on your pig hat. I'm going to warm up some bean bags and I'm going to put them on your knees. The best part is I'm this bra keep... is a front clasping bra. So mm -hmm. I just basically push a button and it just goes. It's, it's kind of like those jack in a box. Yeah, and I just, just dive into bed. I press the button and it explodes off my body. So goodbye, everyone. Thank you for hanging and out. And thank you to Hey It's Mercha Mer Calais, who I think was trying to leave us a comment and might have not known how to and instead super chatted uh -huh. without leaving anything twice and I'm so sorry that that happened so hopefully we but, can find out if that was your intention or hey, not it's, at the time. Hey, it's, it's Mary Kales. Um, thank you for super chatting. Thank you for super chatting with uh, us. And goodbye to Katie Alice, to Emily Two, To Coconutty Boy. To Black Hayate the Third, To Skylar. And goodbye to Metal of Heaven 7. Seven. It's always great seeing you, Metal yeah. of Heaven. And Metal of Heaven said they need to make a pet escape bag. You do. Yeah. One where you're, it's not like, get in the crate. And your cat's like, no. And like, Metal of Heaven, I'm pretty sure you still should be at work right now. Yes. And we yeah. are going to come to your region and visit you sometime. We're One just going to show up at your, because I remember she Knock worked, on your yeah, door. And be like, hey. hey we're looking for Metal of directions on how to get around the city. And everyone's going to be like, who is Medal of Heaven 777? <laughs> and they'll be like, do you mean the white girl? <laughs> and you'll be like sweating. You'll be like, uh, well, we don't know if Medal of Heaven is white. I, yeah. You're just assuming. True. She is a foreigner. She could be any color of the rainbow. She that is purple. very true. My mistake. I have, I have no idea what race you are. I'm just saying. My mistake. Um, goodbye to mm. uh, oh, Natalie, yes. Kitty, mm. Kitty, Linda. Mm. Good Goodbye to Jennifer. Mm -hmm. Goodbye to uh, too many, too many. Scrolling fast. Goodbye to Armani and Carly. to Miss Bella Lou and Kelly Tai. Said to, you guys are the best. To Keki Nine and to BTS Angela and oh my gosh, it's going by so quickly. Yeah. Goodbye everyone. Bye, everyone. Thank you Thanks for joining us for hanging out. You're all lovely, lovely people. You're wonderful, and I'm gonna make a new winter merch so that I can feel warmer in the winter. And I'm gonna make a hat for you because your head's gonna be cold this year. Um, by the way, half of Martina's, like the, the merch that she designed, she just makes it for herself and then she just doesn't put it in the store. <laughs> what? That's not her at all. Like, oh, this yeah. pillow's in the store. That shirt's in the store. My hoodie's in the store. What about them bags? Oh, those tote bags. What well, about them bags, girl? I'm gonna put them in the store. I all just right. have to test out the quality first. I take, have to carry them around. Take care, everyone. We'll, we'll see you next week. Oh Bye yeah, guys. we will because we're not gonna because we're gonna be back by then. Yes, we're going on another trip next week. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.